With a peaked roof giving it a nautical look, it looks as though the brand new Oxen Hill High School is about to set sail. And sail it will. With its Clipper Ship logo now on the floor of the new building's impressive rotunda and construction proceeding at a furious pace all over the ship, the new school will begin its cruise into the future on the opening day of school, August 19th. For the 1,200 students the new high school will house, a world of wonders awaits. 65 classrooms, some for teaching the culinary arts, others for college-style lectures, and still others for science, are just a sampling in a school that will offer classes in four different academies. And as for technology in the new school, there will be just about anything a student or teacher could ask for. Uh, you'll have uh, Bluetooth in the classrooms. You'll be able to connect directly to the internet. They have smart boards connecting so the teachers can, uh, can utilize the boards uh, electronically, print off the boards. You have speakers in the classrooms so they can, the teachers can wear a mic. Matching perfectly with the gymnasium built back in 2004, the new $82 million learning vessel is also in sync with Mother Nature with its geothermal heating and environmentally friendly materials. Yes, architecturally and academically, Oxen Hill is a building guaranteed to impress. Everybody's going to get an oh wow moment. They're going to walk in there, they're going to be amazed. Uh, the technology, the newness of the school, the beauty of it, everything works together. It was designed well. Uh, it's going to be weeks before they get over this. Perhaps the ultimate stamp of approval for the new school comes from the construction crew when asked if they'd like their own children to attend Oxen Hill. Absolutely. Um, it's a beautiful building. Uh, it's bright. There's daylighting in and out of the classroom, so the kids will... Uh, it, it's really just a beautiful building on the inside. That's the new Oxen Hill High School, coming August 19th. Thank you.